Let's call the court in order. What's up, African diaspora? It's your favorite attorney, Attorney Ali Booker. And today we are going to talk about Trump and why he cannot keep a lawyer. Okay. Why can't Trump keep a lawyer? And this is a very, 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 very touchy, touchy subject because we see the lawyers come in and we see them leave. We see them get charged. We see them get questioned. And it seems as if he doesn't listen to any of them. Is that correct? Exactly. So guys, one thing as lawyers that we, one thing that we need is complete and total honesty a lawyer needs complete and total honesty. One thing that people have to remember is everything that you discuss with us is attorney-client privilege information, absent you telling us that you're going to kill someone, okay? So long as you are not going to take a life and you told us that you're going to do it um, and you have laid out a plan for it and have come and told us, we can't tell you. Uh, we cannot tell on you, okay? But we need to know the truth in order to be able to get you out of any situation. It is extremely hard for an attorney to represent an individual when that individual is not upfront and honest about what's going on or about what they've done. Because if there is a body somewhere, we can't tell on you. Now, I'm going to repeat that so that we understand. An attorney cannot tell anyone unless it's going to save a life. Okay? We are not allowed to know that someone is going to perish or they're going to try to force someone into expiration, i.e. kill someone and not tell the authorities. We are people that have to report, okay? But And that is pretty much one of the only situations that we have to report in. Because you have to be able to come and talk to somebody and you have constitutional rights, you have the right to privilege with any lawyer that you speak to. Once you've already killed somebody and told us where the body is, that's it. The person's already dead, unfortunately. So we're no longer saving a life and we cannot tell on you. That is against ethics and against the law. So one of the problems that a lot of them are having with Trump is that he is not forthcoming and honest. He likes to play a lot of games and he will even pull the wool over his attorney's eyes. Yep, you heard it. He will even pull the wool over his attorney's eyes. How do I know that? Let's, case in point, let's look at his charges. Remember when they asked Trump, you know, what all he had at Mar-a-Lago? And he told them that he didn't have anything there. And told them that what he did have was few and far in between. And he did let them see some items. It was at the behest of Trump that his security guard and basically his, he's a semi-security guard. Let me back it up and tell you. Each and every president and most uh, individuals that are high up or business people have a right hand, okay? This person prop does everything for them. They get coffee for them. They know all of their deepest, darkest secrets. They make calls for them. They put people on the phone. They go, hey, grab that for me. They're your right hand, okay? His right hand was told to go and hide boxes and boxes of these files, these confidential files, okay? Um, and this gentleman hid these boxes from the attorneys at Trump's behest. So because Trump hid things from his lawyers, it got them in a sticky situation and he as well. Had Trump just been upfront and honest that he did have those classified records, the attorneys would not have been able to turn him in for it and possibly could have assisted him so that he did not, not get these charges. It does not fare well for you when you lie to your attorney. We are here to get you out of situations and it's hard for us to dig you out of one thing, but then you're over somewhere else, unbeknownst to us, digging another hole. So that is why you will see a lot of his attorneys change, a lot of his attorneys fire, a lot of his attorneys take off, okay? They fire him, he fires them, or they move around within his corporations and companies. 
You have one this morning that has left the defense team, and now she's taking care of one of his uh, one of his businesses. Okay. The reason that she's moving to another section is to maintain that confidentiality and to refrain from becoming a witness. As long as you are representing someone, you really cannot be a witness against them in proceedings unless you are accused of a crime yourself. Because she's with his defense team, she has not been accused of a crime. And in order to stop her from being accused of a crime, she's moving to another part of technically of his agency. So she's still representing him just in another capacity. This keeps her from being able to spill the beans against him in any capacity. You got it? So that's why Trump has lawyers and they are being changed like underwear. They are not liking the fact that he's lying to them. And another thing they're not liking, guys, is the fact that he does not do what you tell him to do. It is hard to have a client that does not do what you tell them to do. And I have had clients where I've asked them to do some uncanny things that have made them very uncomfortable. But in order for me to continue to protect them, in order for them to win that case, in order for us to be victorious, in order for me to keep the enemy off, there are certain things that I need them to do that will work in conjunction with what I do for them. When your client does not listen to you, it does make your job that much harder. So an attorney's going to do one or two things when you do that. They're either going to charge you more or they're going to fire you. And it's just as simple as that. It's kind of like having a hard head child that doesn't do what you say. You kind of have to weigh your options and determine whether or not this is somebody you want to keep on, on the, you know, all money and good money. So you got to decide whether this is somebody that you want to keep, right, in your daycare. Because these are all your children. And you have the ones that constantly have to come to the principal's office. And you have to talk to them about everything. And then you get to a point where you're like, mm, this just isn't working out. So those are the reasons that Trump keeps changing attorneys. Those are the reasons that people keep leaving. And let me add one more thing. An attorney cannot assist you in breaking the law. If you want us to do something where we believe that we are assisting you in breaking the law, much of the time, we will fire ourselves, allow you to fire us, or we will move around in a different capacity with you, but we will not be in that capacity. So it's possible that there are things that Trump wanted her to do that were Ill illegal or unethical. She wasn't willing to stick her neck out there. So she did what we call, quote, end quote, move around. All right. Until next time, African Diaspora Court is going to stand in recess. Good to see you guys. Make sure you check me out on my YouTube channel, okay, Legal Cutie. Make sure you add me on all of your social media platforms, okay. I'm she underscore ya underscore lawyer on Instagram. And I'm Legal Cutie on TikTok. I am also Legal Cutie on YouTube, as I previously stated. And then you can follow me on Facebook with my name, Allie Booker. Have a fantastic evening, African Diaspora.